Hey, what's up, YouTube land? It's your boy, Eddie Hill, the White Oak, Pennsylvania toy collector, and it's time for another Eddie Hill review. It's review time, people. And today, we'll be reviewing Transformers, Titans Return, Wingspan. And I've never had this character. He is one of the Decepticon clones. I don't have his brother Pounce, which came with the Earthrise one. But I will try to go and get that so I can have both Decepticon clones on my shelf. If I like this review so much, like this video so much, that I'm making. So yeah. Wingspan is one of the Decepticon clones and he transforms into a bird. And he could be... Bringing terror from the skies. <laughs> Autobot clones, you've met your match. <laughs> and I can't help the voice, the custom voice I did for this guy. Why not? I like to do a little voiceover. But really nice painting, really nice sculpting on the bird mode, which is pretty cool. If I do say so myself, you do get some visible head syndrome. And yeah, it doesn't cover up the head for very good. That's my only nitpick. But yeah, he doesn't do anything. He doesn't roll or fly or anything. He just looks like he can fly with the wings, though. But now let's get down to transformation. Disconnect the legs. Like so. Rotate. Flip in these wings to form his legs. Second verse, just like the first. Rotate, flip wing in, fold back. Now for the arms, fold arms outwards like this. Flip in this section. Oh wait, it's supposed to be like that. Okay, now we flip the head back, the bird head back and reveal our Decepticon clone. And this is probably my first one I've ever gotten completed. I think I originally had this guy, but he was incomplete in the G1 version anyway. But I'm so glad to have this bot in my collection, Wingspan. And he is a nice looking Decepticon, if I do say so myself. And he's got the Decepticon badge, this would have been a rub-off thing on the G1 toy, but I think it's been long since damaged. It, yeah, it's been damaged a little bit. Oh, wait, no. It's not a rub-off symbol. It's a symbol of a bird and wings. My bad. <laughs> but now we're going to give a bio on Wingspan before we end this video. And Wingspan is one of those Decepticon clones... I never saw him in any other episode with his brother after the Wingspan and Pounce were stealing the, the key to the plasma energy chamber from Autobot City so they could uh, unleash his energy and destroy the Earth and the Autobots. So yeah, they were up to no good. But yeah, this is a good looking figure. I love this figure. It's articulation. Really good. Bend at the knee. Ball jointed arms to get some different poses. Head is not on a ball joint, which is a shame. At least they could have done is put it on a ball joint. But arms are on a ball joint, so you get a lot of poses out of this bot. Be like punch. Kick out that far. Doesn't kick back that far unless you uh Move that panel back so you can do a jump kick. Yeah, yeah. With that bird leg, wing leg. So, yeah, he's pretty cool. If I do say so myself. Is a Transformers Titans Return wingspan worth adding to a collection of Transformers? I'd say yes. If you've ever seen the Season 3 of Transformers then you got to have this guy in your collection if you're a Transformers fan like I am. And this guy is pretty cool looking. 
That's what I love about him. He's a bird, and he's a robot, and he's a good-looking Decepticon. He kind of got the colors, like, six-shot, which that's what I like about him. Otherwise, I'd pick him up, because he is so much fun to mess around with. And that's what we do on this channel. We have fun. We mess around with transformations so many times before we do the review. And that's what I love about doing this channel. What I'll continue to do with this channel. For as long as it's up on YouTube. And I enjoy what I do. And I hope you enjoy it as well. Now this is Eddie Hill. Moving on. And rock on and rock out. YouTube land.